Hello and welcome to Computational Design and Architecture. Today we're going to look at how to fix uh, some various issues that arise with self-selecting or self-intersecting curves. Uh, so when you're modeling you might get something that looks like this. Let's for the second do a um, So if you try to extrude this curve, you're going to get an error that looks like this, where you have self-intersecting curves. So what do you do to resolve this? There's a few ways. First of all, you don't want to do this. You always want to say no to this and fix the curves themselves. Uh, so if the curve is simple enough, the easiest way to do is to obviously use points. Um, but there's another way too. So say you have it like this. Um, you're going to type in the following command, which is test curve self intersection. Now this is an unsupported developer command, um, but it's used to highlight or tell you where bad curves are happening. So you hit enter and what it does is it'll put points on the, the curves which are bad and so it's then it allows you to go in and edit those uh, manually so this is an issue if you have a lot of curves so for example let's let's do an example where we do we have a say we have a relatively complex shape And we're going to tween between these. Okay. Um, and let's say we're lofting this. Okay. And why don't we do solid points on? Uh, let's do points on. Okay, so let's do something where okay. All right, so say you have a your surface that looks like this, and now we're going to try to contour it, and we contour at a sixteenth of an inch now let's go to visibility uh, and now I want to um, make all of these planar surfaces so when I go to do this I'm getting this self intersecting input curves are found uh, do you want to use curve boolean processing? And you say no to this. You have to manually go in and fix these. So again, we're going to enter test self test curve self intersection. You need to copy that and enter it in. Okay. Now what it's, what's happening is it's drawing points everywhere we have issues. So let's go to one of our front views or side views. So all of these curves need to be taken out. So let me show you a, a trick of how to do that. So I need to correct all of these curves. We're going to pull these out, say 20 inches. Make sure you have a, um, a number you can remember. So again, let's pull this out to 10. Let's go into our top view. For our perspective and now we can edit these individually so let's look at how to do that um, so for one what we can start to do is pull some of these back so if your curve is simple enough um, you can pull it back like this 
However, in some cases, you might need to trim curves. So let's look at how that happens. So let's, let's say I have to trim this curve here. And now I want to rebuild it. So if I want to rebuild this curve, there's a few solutions that I have. Um, one uh, is over here in Curve Tools. Um, I can just simply close open curves. And it'll draw a straight line across. What I can also do is I can uh, interpolate between them. So I can say interpolate curve, and then I can try to draw it. So see how it, sh it, it has slightly changed the curvature, um, but now I'm no longer uh, cutting across these. So let's sort of cut these down. And I have my near snap on, so I can go curve to curve. Let's create a surface and cut through multiple ones. Okay, trim. So I can delete this. And um, so here we go. We can also um, blend curve. And like we were seeing with blend surfaces, we can do the same with blend curve. So I can do uh, curvature and tangency. Slide these back. So here, let's do tangency. So OK. Make sure these are joined. And there's also a, um, a few others up here, which is arc blend. So let's look at how that works. Um, there is adjustable curve blend. And here you have to be careful again not to intersect. There is uh, fillet curves. You have to be careful with what we select here. Um, we also have this. Uh, if you left click here, you can interpolate between these curves. Now, the interpolate, you can, if you right click on it instead, okay, so those are some ways of quickly getting those out, and delete the points to make sure that you uh, remind yourself that you've hit them. Oh, we have one more, one more to do. So why don't we, oops, uh, so let's make sure that this one's closed. So here, let's do a another uh, interpolate. Let's see. We can also do match curve. So and then the same can happen down here. So part of this might be rebuilding them. Uh, so for example, if we put in a let's go back to uh, sorry curve tools, uh, let's give it a um, let's see, let's give it a give an arc. So let's make my, sure my project is on. Like 
this, or better yet, what I can do is uh, I can create a parabola between here, here, and here. Or I can do a control point where I'm finding this curve. Ah, so I'm going to project. So let's move this vertically. Okay. And then let's make another arc between uh, two again. So this time let's do. Um, this one to this one, and then my top view. Oops. Okay. So these are the above, so we can um, move these back negative 10. Those are fixed. But we're trying to get, we're trying to correct this at the moment. So let's do, let's find this curve, this curve. So okay, so let's just do the, sometimes it's just easier to do this. Okay, and then the top one. It's here. Okay, so let's loft between this and this. Okay. Trim. Now let's take another look over here at match curve. Say okay. Oh, sorry, match curve again. Uh, so pick the end you want in there to change. Okay. If you do curvature, curvature, these are just changing the degree of the curves. So let's do curvature and curvature. Put it over the end. So that's match curve. Let's do a quick curve bend here. So this time you can play around with some of how you join these, but if you do a adjustable curve bend, here you can adjust it. Let's do a, a quick curve bend. Okay, so now we can take select our points, clear these, make sure they're all joined, and then move them back negative 10 to put them back into position. Now we see we have a few continuity breaks, um, so you can you can try to adjust these as you see fit. And let's run, let's try to extrapolate our surfaces here, extract from planar curves. And now we don't have the error point showing up. 
So again, uh, let's do text. This is, um, make sure you have this. Uh, this is the command that you're entering in order to uh, check for bad curves or curves which intersect themselves. Okay, thank you.